Hello and welcome to the Structural Dynamics, the numerical iteration. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to do a numerical iteration for system of one degree of freedom in Excel. The first step is uh, identifying uh, the input number, which comes from your student ID. So I cut one number from the right, and it should be 6 for a given number. And now I cut two numbers from the right, and then from this I cut the first number from the left. I have 8. And for ID3, I don't need it for this tutorial. <coughs> now I can get the length with which is 20 plus ID2 and the cross section area which is 10 plus ID1. For all of the variations, you have the gamma of concrete is 2400 kilogram per cubic meter, and E for the columns is 20 gigapascal. And your moment of inertia for all columns will be 1 meter 4, and the height of story will be 4 meter. Now I get my mass of the bridge will be the length time by cross section area, time by gamma, time by 2 because I have 2 spans. And the k will be uh, 12 ei on cubic h because I have a rigid floor. The bridge is can, can be considered as a, a rigid floor. And from here, I calculate the uh, natural frequency should be square root of k on m. And from here, I got f is omega on 2 pi. Now everything is set up. The next step, I need to do the numerical iteration. So I need to create a table. The first uh, column is step, that means step 1, 2, 3. The second column is a time. The third column is a DT, that means the time span. The fourth column is a F, which is related to B, is the external force. And the next column will be the elastic force, which is caused by the column. And then I get the total force, which is the sum of the two previous columns, and the accelerations, and the dt square, and the positions. The first column will be time step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I just calculate for few time steps. And the second column is a time, which will be the previous time plus the time step dt. As required by the tutorial, the DT should be 0 0.02 seconds. And the force is varied by time, and I get it from the force graph. The elastic force should be minus kx, so therefore I just get it minus k times by x. And the x is our position, and the k we have calculated before. The total force will be the sum of the previous two forces. And the acceleration should be f on m. Please don't forget to put the uh, money symbol to get this one fixed. The DT square. Okay. 
Now, the only thing we need to do is calculate the position. So the first position must be zero because at the time is zero, x is zero. The second uh, position we calculate from half of acceleration time by time square. And the third one, from the third one, we use the recurrence equation. So it should be 2 xi minus xi minus 1 plus acceleration time by dt square. Please use the right accelerations. And now we add up a graph to see the motions of the bridge by the time. Because the numbers are so small, so therefore the vibration is not obvious and you cannot feel it when you pass by the bridge. Thank you very much for your times and see you next time.